All right, so what I'm going to go over today is the convenience of Pluralize. Um, this works for Final Cut, Premiere Pro. I'm in Sony Vegas right now. Um, this works for many different applications when it comes to syncing up audio and video. And you can see in this clip, um, I have one recorder down here. Um, I did this at a wedding. Um, it has all the um, task cam recording. Um, I have another task cam recorder. Um, so those are my two bottom tracks. Then I have my Sony A6300. I'll move this up top so you can see this footage. So we got some footage there. Um, we also have a A7S2. We got some footage here. So you can see the different clips. <clears throat> and then we also have uh, another, my backup shooter was using uh, A7S2 also. And so we have tons and tons and tons of clips. And it would take me forever to go through all these clips and organize them, get them all lined up, um, probably longer than doing the actual product. So, you know, we have uh, some interviews going on, uh, DJing. Um, there's a bunch of different, just different clips that we need to match up when we're uh, recording with our different audio sources. So what I'm going to do... Uh, in Vegas, you can go into uh, the extensions and I'm gonna open up Pluralize 4. And so what this is, is a program that's gonna go through and uh, analyze all the tracks, all the audio. Um, and when we synchronize them up, it goes through an algorithm that allows all the different um, audio files to line up. If you don't have audio and all the videos, it can't line up all the clips. So it's really important when you're recording, even if it's crappy audio, it still needs some audio to be able to line everything up. So we're going to let this thing sync up and then I'll show you how to synchronize it. So after it's done loading all the tracks into Pluralize and analyzing all the peaks and valleys of all the uh, uh, audio clips, then we're going to press Synchronize and it's going to go through and try to match up all the different clips of all the different audio and video tracks that all line up. And then whatever clips don't match up to any of the audio, they'll put at the very end. So we're gonna let it go through, do its thing with all these clips. So one of the cool things it does after it's done running through its algorithm is it will find uh, the audio tracks that do not have video attached to them and it will do auto drift. And when you line up your audio tracks Sometimes the recorder can record at different speeds. It doesn't change the record speed of the actual audio, but when you go line everything up to the video, it drifts. It, it doesn't sync up properly, and this will actually move it so everything syncs up with your video perfectly. Then once that's done, it'll go through and line up all the tracks and then put all the clips at the very end um, in red that do not have... Um, any of the audio recorders connected to it and then at the very end we'll export it to the timeline and then in Vegas it will do its thing and reorganize all the clips. Normally this is something on a project this big would take me I don't even know how many hours I'd say at least a minimum of eight hours running this program. I got this program done in you know, took me about 10 minutes to run its syncing uh, process. So for 300 bucks, it is definitely worth it to save you a lot of time, especially if you need to get out projects really quick and it really elevates your workflow to get stuff done. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. Please like and subscribe.